Ya Rabbi, you're all encompassing, your rahmah is everywhere, my love for you. I'm yearning and burning in that love. Then Allah guides them to Sayyidina Muhammad Do you feel me there? Do you see me there? Do you understand this rahmah and this mercy? Because as soon as you begin to love the reality of Prophet we're not people who read the seerah that he went here, walked there, and walked there, no. That I want my heart to be connected with you, Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem, visualize yourself always at Rosa Sharif that I'm not leaving, I'm not going anywhere, my hand grabbing onto this gate until your nazar fall upon me, your rahmah fall upon me. Means then when they have that immense love, immediately Allah begin when it's sincere and granted begins to send His love into their heart. They fall deeper in love with Allah by connecting to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Because it, it was like a, I can't say ballet, it, it was an exchange of understanding. Allah wants to know if you're really sincere, do you see my signs? And the greatest sign in creation, not the trees, the ocean, the birds and the bees, the greatest sign is Sayyidina Muhammad so when they approached with that love, they were lost in that love and they started to say, Ya Rasul Kareem, that the generosity and the bounty of your rahmah, that with all my guna, all my sins, all my badness, Allah knows all those and your mercy just flows upon me with no account, no question. All we had to do was just direct ourselves to that love and it began to flow, flow. And the love for Allah became stronger because what is in the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad is the lights of Allah's Divinely lights. It is the lights of Holy Qur'an. Means it begins to flow into the heart until Allah قُلِنِ كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّابِيُونِي وَيُهِبُكُمُ اللَّهِ At that moment when they f- flowed and they connected their heart with Sayyidina Muhammad immediately Allah's Divinely Love began to dress them. And they lost themselves and their tafakkur, their meditation, their whole way, they spend at night crying in that connection, immensely drowning in Allah's immense love and immense blessings in which that love wipe away everything. And Allah begin to teach, I'm approaching, you're approaching me with your intention, with your love and your reality is dressing me. This becomes reflective. If you truly understood this path because the path teaches you adab because it's not what you think, you go in front of somebody and that person's nothing. It's a reflection and this way is based on a reflection. That if you're looking for Allah He directs you to Sayyidina Muhammad and that's why Allah says, if you're bad with the Rasul then I'm going to declare war upon you. Because Allah is actually telling you that if you didn't see me there and you want to do something bad, I'm definitely going to be avenging you because you really came against Allah But if you directly go to Allah, you think you're jahari, he doesn't know, you doesn't know what you're doing anyways. But those who came against Sayyidina Muhammad is as if they were fighting Allah Means it's, this is a whole reflective reality, I don't think people out there get it. So then Prophet is coming and teaching, I'm also inheriting that, that Imam Hussain is from me, says also the same saying of Sayyidina Ali Salaam, that Imam Ali Salaam is from me, he's teaching us, them and all that were present and not present that they are coming from my light, from my light Allah made them. Do you see me there? Do you feel me there? So then who were those who were fighting them and trying to kill them? They were fighting and trying to kill the light of Sayyidina Muhammad That's the extent of how bad the quna is. 
Their light didn't come from anywhere. They came from the ocean of Sayyidina Muhammad so much that Prophet wanted it clarified that they are from my light. If you love them, kind to them, Allah will love you because in actuality he represented the Nur Muhammad so profound, so beautific, so powerful that the people couldn't take it. They were jealous of the reality of Imam Al Husayn said, so as long as you're on this earth they won't listen to us as the Khalifas, take bayah to us, they won't follow us so we must kill you from the earth astaghfirullah so the people will follow us. Extinguish the light of somebody to try to raise your light. How many people are doing that on this earth now? The easiest way you think to grow in spirituality is to destroy the light of other people to make yourself like your light is shining more. And what Prophet was warning for us is that, didn't you see my light in Imam Hussain What gave the chivalry and the ability to walk into the faith, walk into death, walk into every type of difficulty was Nur Muhammad What no Prophet could accomplish Sayyidina Muhammad's light in Imam Husayn's reality walked right into that difficulty. In the presence of all those whom they called Azan, they prayed their Zohr, they prayed the Asr and then decided to kill the Holy Family. They didn't know who they were fighting and they kept warning them that you're calling the Azan and you're praying, do you know who our grandfather was? Means are amongst any of you Ahlul Basira that you see that Nur Muhammad is in, entirely in this camp, is all the Rohaniyat of Prophet in that camp and Allah describes their event, although you wish to ex extinguish the light of faith you can never extinguish it. Knew that they would come against because of hasad, knew that the bad characteristic of people we said before everybody has a Yazid inside of them because this game is only about Allah and shaitan. Either you're with Allah or you're with shaitan. And those whom are with Allah means they have this Nur Muhammad And you're supposed to nourish it, bless it and bring it out. You're not supposed to lend yourself to Yazid and shaitan because all that Yazid wants to do is kill the light of Prophet says, no need for salawat, no need for good manners, no need for ihtiram, no need for Mawlid the Nabi Oh because this is your Yazid. If you let your Yazid to grow it will fight them. It begin to fight these awliyaullah, it begin to curse at them, begin to speak bad to them because you're allowing the Yazid to come and attack and that's why Prophet is describing that is from my light and more so I'm going to teach you a secret that I'm from His light. <coughs> Means the power in His descendants that are coming because all the 12 Imams are from the lineage and the light of Imam al Husayn they're all Ashraf. So it means after Imam al Husayn came Imam Sajjad, Imam Zayn al Abideen. That's the one whom Allah should describe as, as, as they want to extinguish and kill this light of reality. He preserved it like Nabi Musa They came and they killed all the men who would be the source of bringing these Ahlul Bayt. But Allah spared Sayyidina Sajjad, Imam Zayn al Abidin like He spared Nabi Musa They came into their heart to leave him alone, he's young. Through that light then all the rest of these Imams coming to the light of who? What power Allah was putting in their lights and what Prophet was bringing as a sharat and that I'm from them. Not only Allah took my light to make Imam Hussain my power will go through all of their lights until the last one that appears will be the most powerful Imam on this earth. No awliya can even be under the foot of Sayyidina Mahdi's power. And that's when Prophet described, and I'm from that light. That light that coming beyond Warath al Muhammadiyya, but the most perfected Muhammadan light on this earth. 
as if a, a complete reflection of Prophet will be appearing. At that time who will be there? Only Ahlul Basira. Those who are not Ahlul Basira, the earth will have already taken them and with their soul they'll witness with a full witnessing. That's why all calamities are coming in the end days. What you couldn't achieve with your body and Allah wrote it for you that reality, they take your body out of the way. And you'll be standing there with your soul witnessing what Allah wanted you to witness. You can be as stubborn as you want and I'm not going to listen, I'm not going to follow, no problem they take your body out of the way and your soul will achieve what Allah wrote it to achieve. But at that time anybody with a body in the presence of Sayyidina Mahdi they're Ahlul Basira because they've been so purified by the calamities that are coming onto this earth that their heart sees. When they see they will witness their Lord with their eyes and they'll understand who's standing in the presence of. And that's why Sayyidina Isa stood back, it was a Jummah and they offered for Sayyidina Isa to pray and he said, no, 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 I see who's leading this prayer. I came to be under his nation, not to be the Imam, means there's no risalat in the presence of that light. There's no sainthood in the presence of that light, everything is in nothingness. So then our whole life is about that reality. When Prophet is describing, I'm in his light. So then how do you disrespect that light? Then you're no, no different than these Yazids. Our life was the ihtiram and the respect of Nur Muhammadi Nur al-Anwar was Sirat al-Asrar and we took a path in which is love and adab. No matter how difficult, how bad, whatever the characteristics, we never come against the light of Sayyidina Muhammad Better to stay quiet and let somebody hit you with their sword than to come against this light of Sayyidina Muhammad This was the way of love and respect in their heart they understood, this is that light. They didn't see the light and they slaughtered the entire family of Sayyidina Muhammad For those whom contemplating, contemplate. That the light that these people carry, these awliya on earth carry, the light of these souls that are coming upon this earth and upon this earth waiting for Sayyidina Mahdi they are the lights of Sayyidina Muhammad and Allah says, Fiikum. These lights are all around you, based on those lights ni'mat comes, rain comes, barakah comes, rizq comes and every calamity is pushed away because Nur Muhammad and Allah describes, I would not punish you while you are amongst them. Doesn't Holy Qur'an describe Prophet I will not punish them because you are amongst them. Well Allah never brought calamity against the the presence of Prophet So when that Nur Muhammadi appears within these awliya, Allah, Allah describing, I will not bring calamity while you are amongst them, while that light is amongst you and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad is amongst you. So this is the way in which we protect ourselves. Be polite and respectful to that light, build that love in your heart that should be the source of all protection it pushes away. Because when that Nur Muhammadi comes Allah moves away qadab, moves away anger and punishment. As soon as you do something bad to that light as if you're asking for Allah to bring difficulty upon. We pray that Allah give us more and more understanding. This way is only based on love and good manners. Our love brought us to their threshold the good manners will open into their presence. With that good manners if it dresses the heart, blesses the heart, blesses the soul, everything is taken care of. All the maqams of all the realities they describe of all the Prophets, it's in one drop of Imam Hussain's tear. So others say, oh this is a cheerful day, let's celebrate like this, celebrate like that. But those from a higher reality they understood, no, no, no. Keep your focus on Imam Hussain for if he should intercede on your case and say that, you came together for me, you came to show your love for me, you cried for me and what I went through with my family, I'm going to cry for you now in Allah's presence. 
with one tear from Imam Hussain as salam it will wash away every difficulty, every harshness. If he as should take the case to intercede, every haqqaiq and every reality will open into the heart. And these are the abundant flowing realities from the heart of Imam and Hussain as salam we pray that Allah keep us under that love and the banner of all awliyaullah, all Ashab and Nabi all Ahlul Bayt and Nabi and that their naza be upon us, that their love be upon us, their dress be upon us and that they're, they're, they take our case to Allah We'll read now the 72 martyrs and the family and grandchildren of Sayyidina Muhammad that may Allah keep them to be pleased with us like Ashab al-Badr that when you mention them immediately bells are ringing in their Divinely Presence that they are with Allah and their nazar come down. That based on what Allah gave to them they want to give to everyone. And how much Allah loves them that 14 million people right now are in Karbala. 14 million people join in for Karbala. It's not something small, why? Because we said it was Nur Muhammad Allah immensity of what, the, what they try to do to this light of Prophet and how much Allah loves that reality. He makes them all, inspire all their hearts, go for ziyarat because that ziyarat will save you, wash you and cleanse you. Don't listen to Hezb shaitan that doesn't know what they're doing. Hezb shaitan only want people to be in difficulty. Every fountain of abundance shaitan says, don't drink from that, don't do from that, don't eat from that, why? So that you can burn in a fire of difficulty. We pray that Allah always inspires to go towards all these fountains of rahmah, to drink from them, wash from them, to bathe within that reality and that Allah by means of that love take away difficulty from us. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.